All right, so I got a 2020 Audi RS3 full bolt-on car, E85, and uh, it is, for a long time, it was full exhaust minus the rear muffler section. And what I mean is uh, it was downpipe, mid pipes to the RS exhaust with the valve exhaust. But for me, it was just too quiet, even in dynamic mode with the valves open. So I took it off and I picked up a secondhand uh, set of the AWE track exhaust. And if you ever mess with that, it's fucking loud. I mean, it sounds really loud. Uh, so it's too loud for me. Um, sounds great outside the car. I mean, it sounds good, but it drones really bad inside the car. I mind my little hairs up there. They're barely holding on. It's a windy day, so sorry about that. Um, anyhow, it drones incredibly bad inside the car. And the one thing that I really enjoyed about the RS3 is that at a flip of a switch, you could quiet the car down, but still have all the performance. So anyhow, what I did is I cut out about half inches that's a car i cut out about 11 and a half inches of the awe pipe which is here that's just trash but i cut out 11 and a half inches and then i put in a vibrant uh, ultra quiet resonator i was going to go with the bottle style let's see if i get a blender here all right all right right there Yoink. right there is the vibrant ultra quiet resonator and with the uh, the offset butt clamps, you can see them. It's a it's like a 3.2 to 2.9 diameter, so you know it's, it adjusts for the different size and pipe. Uh, but I chose that section right there, just in front of the rear diff, because uh, it was the straightest part, and it and it could fit the muffler. So you want to hear it? And oh, by the way, why I know AW makes a they make a muffler set up for this and it's like a two chamber maybe a single chamber muffler and the the body that you take the oem valve and you put it into here so one side pretty sure the muffler goes on this side and then on the other side you know it has the uh the housing the metal housing with you put one you take the valve off of the oem exhaust and you put it in there uh they want 900 almost a thousand dollars for one muffler and that piece now i get it i get it there's audi tax and bmw tax for about tax and all that shit that's fucking ridiculous for i think it was like 65 bucks for the for a vibrant resonator another 18 dollars for the clamps and maybe 45 minutes worth of time this is what i got so i'll start up for you i'll drop a the cold start video of the awe without the resonator and then you tell me which one sounds better Yep, remote start on RS3. It exists. So the car's already warmed up, so you're not gonna hear the cold start portion where it's at high idle. But, I mean, that's pretty mild from what it once was. And it was ridiculously loud. So we'll get in the car real quick. Car's a little dirty. Ooh. Of course, check engine lights on because of the damn downpipe. So here, give her, give it a good. It, would ju it just droned in the car. Uh, and I, I get it. It's a track exhaust. It's supposed to be loud. I had, if you didn't notice, there's a few cars around here. I've got an Evo. I've got a Mustang. You know, we've got Preludes. I've got a few things. And I've had some pretty fast cars. But you spend sixty plus thousand dollars on one of these. I don't think you want to drive around with a, you know, with a droning and you get out and you got a fucking headache. So, uh, yeah. So this is an AWE track exhaust with the uh, uh, vibrant resonator. I'll, I'll put the camera outside. Uh, so you can hear what it sounds like outside the car when I rip it. All right. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, so that's uh, pretty much it. Just a cheap modification to a relatively expensive and to save a couple bucks and you don't want to spend a thousand fucking dollars on a two chamber stainless steel muffler in a in a housing uh the vibrant the uh, resonator is the way to go so hopefully that's a little tip to save you guys some money plus the car sounds freaking amazing at wide open throttle i've had it on there for a little while i just had to adjust the exhaust because if you notice it is a slip fit and uh it was leaking at i could hear it uh leaking at the one of the the joints there right where the mid pipes connect to the actual uh, exhaust near the mid portion of the car so anyhow hope you enjoyed the video have a good day see you later